Hey, what's going on? This is Stephen C, the old mad man. Are you fat? Are you overweight? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, not only can I play the piano, I used to be a professional skipper rudder. I just lost over 50 pounds, 55 pounds. Sometimes I say 57, 55, and I'm gonna be 135 by January 1st. I could help you uh, lose your weight. I, I uh, talk about eating one meal a day. Oh, don't don't turn off this channel and go, I can't do that, I can't eat one meal a day. I'm just telling you what I did, and I'm totally grateful. Listen to this. I have 450 subscribers now, thanks to you. It's been about two and a half months or two months that I've been doing this, almost two months uh, that I've been doing it every single day. And uh, it's called OMAD, eating once a day. Uh, here's the basics for all you people. First off, uh, I used to look like this. This is what I used to look like. Oh my gosh, look at my face. You can make extra people out of my face. Okay, and... Um, what I basically do is I take uh, one plate uh, every 23 hours I eat. So I fast all morning, all afternoon, and at night, I just take one plate and I put uh, a moderate amount of food. You know, eat what you like, you know. You'll find that you like healthier foods. And uh, that's the basic OMAD, O-M-A-D. O-M-A-D is the diet for me. O-M-A-D is the diet for me. Raise your flag. OMAD, OMAD, yes, seriously, I'm just making these little songs for you to remember it. Mnemonics, remember, picture. You're, like Albert Einstein says, your mind remembers in pictures. Everything I say, try to make a little picture. Here's the gun, okay. Gun is a trigger. Do you have trigger foods hanging around your house? You think, oh, well, I've lost some weight and I'm turning into peacockation. You know, I used to have hi hippopotamouth where I'd eat everything. Well, let me see, if you have trigger foods in your house, um, you know, that so they're not good for you until you get like a couple months under your belt. Don't you don't have it around, you know? And just tell people I'd appreciate it. Maybe you hid that or just uh, didn't have it in front of me or purchase it. it probably, it's, if if it's a trigger kind of food, it's probably not good for you. Lettuce is not going to be a trigger food. Black coffee, no sugar, or uh, you know, and I say if you can eat with chopsticks. You think I could eat a whole bunch of food fast with this? No. No. Oh, let me get that chicken. I have to stab the chicken, bite some, and then take it off with this. But if you have a spoon or a, spoon or a fork, you can go. Okay. And people are always asking me. I'm tired of it. But you could ask me. Here's what I love. This is uh, Southwest or Asian. This, this feels like it. This is a lot of food. And then it says right here, 150 calories, uh, about four servings per pack. Cut this whole thing, put it on the plate. Look at this, you got incredible dressing. You got, look, you got these little carb things or like little chips so you can crunch it up. This is how in the first two months, I almost every day I ate this. Then I put a little chickless, boneless, breastless chicken thing on it. This is what I also used to look like. I didn't dye my hair like I do now because it makes me look 22, even though I'm 32. Okay, now check it out. <laughs> I'm not 32. Okay, and see, I didn't even dye my teeth. Yeah, oh, okay, and I looked older. Yeah, I was way much older then. Okay, I took a bike ride yesterday. I don't know what that has to do with the show. Beware of leftovers. You know, my wife had some pizza hanging around, and it, it doesn't really bother me, but I'm like, you know, I already had my meal and stuff, and it's just... I don't know, sometimes it's kind of a strain to have, so beware, and if you're at a restaurant, you know, um, I've been playing any songs. To, these little songs are to help you remember. Um, if, if you're at a restaurant and you finish your food there and you can't take it all, well then it goes. You don't have to take it home because you know you're gonna eat it two hours later. Okay. You have to, if you want to lose weight, I've already done it. I went from 200 pounds to about 143, 145, 144, kind of goes up and down, and that's fine. I, I, I feel thin enough, but I'm going to get a little bit lighter. So, uh, okay, now you want to, it's already been four minutes on the show. Now, you want to pick a time. I pick five o'clock so I don't have to worry about food until that. That's my time, and my body knows that's when I eat. At 4.30, I start thinking, thinking about food. If it's three o'clock and you're and you're going to a party, it might be a New Year's Eve party. If you're going to a party or a family party, you don't have to eat, you don't have to do it, you could just sit there all day, work on conversation. All the way, if you're going to a party, it could be a New Year's Eve party.
I'm telling you, focus on conversation. Sit there with a beverage. And if everybody goes, you know, I've noticed you're not eating. And they're being insulting and putting you down. You could think to yourself, well, I noticed you're all overweight. Yes, I shake a little bit when I drink. Huh, and I like to slurp. Okay, uh, one of my, one of my uh, focus on conversations when they're there, one of my subscribers, Julie, said, Stephen, oh, madman, don't you love walking past the frozen food section and seeing your reflection and you're way thinner? I love putting on my jet, big, fluff, puffy jacket. I'm out here in Nebraska. I'm from California. So, California, here I come, right back where I started from. Now, listen, um, and yes, I do. And also, Erica said, Mr. Roman Band, you're in my morning routine. I guess she takes a shower, goes to the bathroom, brushes her teeth, she comes out, and then it's... It's OMAD time, it's OMAD time. With Steven C. Okay, going on. I don't want to waste your time. OMAD is so simple. Listen, I could teach any of you with one arm, one finger. If you don't even have any hands or fingers, I could teach you with your nose. It's so simple, OMAD. Okay, that is simple. But some of these people, um, I love Dr. Berg and I used to watch him, but it, um, this thing, the autophagy and the polysis and um, the fat, you know, and a lot of people, and then you got the, hey, fatty, and all these crazy people out there, and then you get the, um, the caloric uh, beverage of the, you know, you can, now this is a little bit more difficult. That's a little bit harder to play, or collapsing third. That kind of stuff is harder, but so keep K-I-S-S, keep it simple, Steve. Keep it simple, Scott, Jim, all my uh, subscribers. Keep it like this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, clean myself off, that's it. Oh, I'm gonna drive to work. Oh, I'm gonna lose some weight. Okay, just eat once a day. I say start off with sal salad packs because you have, and then, and then with your salad pack, you could put on a, a little bit of chicken. So this is like three or four, like 400 calories. And then that's like another 300. So you got 700. And then if you're a little bit hungry still, but all put it on one plate and have your beverage, everything ready. And don't stand around walking around eating it. Okay, and I'd like to say again, not as though mad man, but if Stephen C. Raphael, thank you so much, everybody, for 450 subscribers. Once I get 1,000, I could have these little ads and they give me some new uh, monetary um, whatever. It'll probably bug you if I have these little ads come on one side, but you know, it's really cool. And so when my wife kicks me out for doing my show every single day, which then I'll have a little bit more of an income. And I even have a patron account. So I'd like to talk to you about, I got a little, and then a little argument with an OMAD um, one meal a day Facebook lady. Uh, she was talking about, I think she was complaining about it. And she said, um, you know, something about cheese. And I go, I go, I proudly announce. I say right now, I'm giving up the cheese and the C-O-W cow. I'm not giving up the cow, but the cheese. I said, you know, I don't eat cheese because I don't even eat it free at samples and places for free. She goes, and then she says, I totally don't agree with you. But to thy own self be true as night must follow the day and that ass cannot be untrue to any man. So Polonius once said this in Hamlet. And so the advice I was just trying to say is, I know thyself. I know I can't handle, um, I know I can't handle, if there's a cheese blocks in our house, you know, I mean, I can now, it's way different. It's been five months and one week. But at one point I made a decision not to eat cheese because that's just too damn good. And if I have, and, and you know, if I have a whole bunch of, uh, if I could go to a buffet, I'd put in just a moderate amount of food. And if you're really, really tired, um, then I would say, go to bed, don't eat. Because I took a memory course, I mer mer uh, memorized th um, 10 books of the Bible. Um, word for word, it was 30,000 words. And 
too much caffeine or tiredness makes you, uh, messes up your judgment. Okay, 10, 10, 10 minutes. You know, if somebody said, hey, we're gonna have uh, Pringles for a dessert, you get, uh, I think you get about 10. Who in the world could eat 10? I could eat 10 of those tubes. I could eat just as much crazy amount of food right now that I've lost 55 pounds that I could back then, even though I'm trying to shrink my stuff, trying to shrink my stomach. What it is, it's all here, right here. You know, I, I used to eat my feelings. If I was happy, I'd eat. If I was sad, I'd eat. If I was tired, I'd eat. I'd eat if I wanted to eat. If I had nothing, do I'd eat? Salad packs, and I can't stress enough, if you can't use these things and then use them like this, and then you'll start using them like this. And then go on the internet, you can go on YouTube and figure out how to use them, but you'll eat way, way slower. Take, you know, if I step on a nail, I'm gonna know it right away. But if I eat two hamburgers, I'm still gonna be hungry if I eat them, if I scarf them down. Okay, <coughs> nobody cares about your weight loss and most people are not even gonna even notice. So, um, you know, if you stop eating, um, you know, you eat your once meal a day, just remember, you're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be so hungry, you won't know what to do. You're gonna be so hungry, you're gonna have to deal with so many things. Emotions, okay? I'm just trying to motivate you. My show's almost up. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. I don't know what like means, so whatever. But subscribing is like giving me a tip because once I got, I got 451 uh, subscribers. I need a thousand, and uh, but I really don't need anything. I've already reached my goal. Every day I get to do this show. I, I just somebody reached out for me uh, from even from Baghdad, from Malaysia, from from all these different countries in the world. And then they say, I'm out here in Malaysia, for instance. And then I cop and I check out where they're from and I talk to them and people say that the show really helps them. And uh, I would just like to, I'm doing a big, I'm a, a Broadway musical writer. This is what I used to look like. There's my daughter. Oh my God, I was a fat, fat man. Oh, I was a fat, fat man, fat, fat man. There must be more to life than eating, eating all day, and eating any kind of calorie. There must be more to life than chewing. What can I do? What can I say? When are you gonna listen to me and you're gonna, oh, it finally the light bulb went off. I'm gonna make that decision. Well, I'm gonna be here every single day. Okay, like I said, I have a Patreon account. You can help support the station. So please subscribe. Press this. Now go back on. Subscribe. Thank you so much. Remember, uh, thank you for the 450 subscribers. Get away from the trigger foods. Basic VOMADs. I took a bike ride yesterday. That was fun. I don't And don't exercise because it's just going to make you way too hungry. I can't handle cheese. Thank you, everybody. I like you.